Breaking news, 15 people displaced and a firefighter hurt in this fire in Overland Park overnight. Look at these flames shooting out of the building. This is just east of 83rd and Metcalf. Now the fire is under control, but it took about two hours for that to happen. Let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan live at that apartment complex where firefighters had to rescue people. Charlie, you got to talk to one of those people, right? Right, we know they rescued a, a woman and her daughter and their dog from a second floor uh, unit here in the uh, apartment complex behind me on the other side of that fire truck. The, uh, all the other residents of that apartment building, though, got out safely on their own. So that is a big headline this morning that everyone living in this apartment building is OK. One firefighter did go to the hospital, but we're told he is stable this morning, which is another good sign. I want to get you right to that footage that we were showing you earlier of this fire. It was about midnight when flames broke out inside this apartment complex. We saw a large response from the fire department and the battalion chief told us that when they first got here, all they saw was a lot of smoke. Then though, those flames broke through the roof of this apartment building and that obviously became a huge challenge for those firefighters. We asked the battalion chief what other obstacles those battalion, those firefighters faced. Uh, we had uh, some water supply issues and uh, access to the far side of the building from the street was difficult. It took a little while to get that. We were in a defensive posture for most, most of the fire. That defensive posture meant the firefighters were outside of the building spraying water on it. They did not enter into that building to fight the fire from within. So it took probably two hours or so for them to really put this fire out and get it under control from that defensive posture, as the battalion chief said. The cause of this fire, though, still under investigation. We have heard that investigators will be back here uh, during the daylight hours when they can get a little bit of a better view of what's going on. And Lindsay and Ray, the Red Cross, also helping all the uh, victims here, a lot of the victims from this house uh, apartment fire, getting them someplace to stay.